Hey guys, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations and I've seen a lot of questions in my Facebook group about can you epoxy and glitter tumblers that you get from the store that are already colored. So as you see this picture here on the left, this tumbler, this wine glass is already coated on the bottom portion and so I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and glitter it. So I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap this thing and peel the label here, the sticker on it off. And if you have a little bit of residue or part of the paper stuck behind or anything, no worries. I just take a flat blade and I very carefully just get it started and I peel it right off. It does leave a little bit of residue behind, um, but I went ahead and I'll sand that off here in a little bit. Now this does have a rubber bottom on it, so I'm just getting it started with my blade and I'm pulling the rubber bottom off. You can reattach it later if you want with epoxy, but honestly, I don't even need it, so I'm not going to attach it later. So you can see there's residue here. I will actually get it off with some acetone. I'll just wipe it down real good and get that sticky residue from that rubber piece on the bottom off. And I'm just going to give the whole tumbler a really good wipe down. As you can see, this paint or powder coat, whatever it is that they've put on this cup is coming off just a little bit just by using acetone. So it's not on there really good. So here in just a minute, we're going to go ahead and scuff this cup up pretty well with some sandpaper, but I really want to focus right now on getting that sticky stuff off the bottom. All right, so now I've got some 220 grit sandpaper. This is a sticky back sandpaper and I love it because it sticks to my fingers and it makes it so much easier to sand. So I'm going to go over this entire cup and I'm just gonna rough it up really good. As you can see, I'm actually um, removing some of the paint a little bit and you don't have to really bear down on it too hard just do it enough to really scuff it up and get that protective layer off of the stainless steel and once i'm done with that i take it to the bathroom wash it really good with dawn dish soap and then now i'm back again with some acetone just on a little cotton pad it's like a makeup remover pad um, with acetone on it and I just give it a really good wipe down. As you can see I'm still pulling some of that black paint off with my cotton pad and I'm going to put it on a football with a PVC arm give it another really good wipe down just because I don't want my my fingers all over it I want to have some really good adhesion whenever I paint this cup. Alright now that we are sanded, washed, prepped and everything, I'm going to go in with some solid black. This is a matte black spray paint by Krylon and I just, I took it outside and I sprayed it black. I sprayed the entire cup and you want to be careful because on this, the way I'm doing this cup here, I'm not going to completely cover the entire cup. So I was very careful. I didn't want any drips or anything like that in my spray paint. So I was careful to just get a nice solid coat over the cup. If you need to go in with a couple of coats, you can to avoid drips if you have problems with drips, but um, I just got a nice solid coat on there with that matte black spray paint. I let it completely dry. So it's been about probably an hour and a half or so. I let it completely dry and now I'm going to put a coat of epoxy on here. And I am going to use this epoxy to put the glitter on the tumbler. So I'm going to start off with my glove and I've probably only got about, I think I've got maybe 10 milliliters of epoxy. No, I'm sorry. I think I had seven and a half milliliters of epoxy, something like that. I didn't need much. And basically you don't need a whole lot of epoxy for these cups. You just want to get enough epoxy on the cups to make the glitter stick. And actually, the more I look at this cup, I think I only used like five milliliters. I think I mixed up 2.5 and 2.5, 2.5 of part A and 2.5 of part B for this cup. So I don't have very much epoxy mixed up at all. You don't need much. And I am using a little bit more than I usually would. If I was using a fine glitter, then I probably wouldn't use quite as much as I am here. But because I'm using a chunky, I find if I use just a little bit more epoxy, it helps the chunky glitter to lay down nicely. So now that I've got the epoxy on the cup, I'm gonna take one finger, I'm gonna start at the bottom of the cup, and I'm going to push up the cup as the cup spins here. And I'm just going to make sure that that epoxy is laying down nice and smooth. And 
And I'm gonna take that one finger and do a little swipe across the bottom to make sure that it is laying down smoothly. And then I've got my blowtorch here and I'm just going to make a really super quick pass across the entire cup as it spins. And that, what that's going to do, it's going to pop any micro bubbles and it's also going to help that epoxy lay down really smooth and it's gonna help get any streaks from me running my finger up and down the cup. So just smooth it out nicely and get it ready for glitter. All right, so now I have got Esmeralda. Esmeralda is from my KCC glitter line and it is probably one of my favorite glitters ever. It is so beautiful. It's a color shifting glitter, so you've kind of got like a purple to bluish look to it. And it's it's kind of hard to see in this video, but y'all, it is so pretty. So what I want to do is I want the bottom portion of this wine tumbler to be a solid glitter. I want it to be fully glittered. And then I want the glitter to kind of climb up the tumbler as it goes. So I'm gonna leave the top part black. Look at that shine and that color shift there. Um, but I'm gonna leave the top part of the cup black, but I want the bottom part to be glittery. So it's gonna almost look like the glitter is climbing up the cup. And I actually did do this on a previous tutorial, but I really, really wanted to show off how you can take these already pre-colored tumblers from the store and turn it into something and this is a, a tumbler that my aunt wanted made so I figured what a better opportunity than to show y'all how how you can still use those cups even though they have already been colored at the store we can work around that so what I'm doing here is I'm actually tilting my tumbler it's hard to see in the video but I'm holding it at an angle and as I sprinkle this chunky mix glitter on the glitter kind of runs up the cup it, or falls up the cup, I guess you could say, since I'm holding it tilted at an angle. And it just makes it so beautiful. It almost gives it like an ombre look up into the black. So got a little crazy on that one. I dropped, <laughs> got a little heavy handed, but it is so pretty. And like I said, just make sure that you hold the cup at an angle so that the glitter kind of pours kind of looks like it crawls up the cup and if you haven't checked out my glitter line be sure to check it out we've got some different color shifting glitters we release new glitters every week we release five to six new colors every week and they're all so pretty but kccglitter.com and you can check it out there so now that I have got I'm happy with my glitter coverage as you can see I left the top part black and the glitter kind of just climbs up the cup so I'm going to get a small piece of wax paper And for this part, you can use either parchment paper or wax paper. I personally prefer wax paper because I've got it at the house. And I just take that small piece of wax paper and I gently tap my cup. And I tap it as it spins around. And what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that that chunky glitter lays down flat because you don't want a bunch of pokey sticking up or anything like that because if you've got the pokey sticking up, as you apply epoxy, epoxy later on, you are going to have to sand the fire out of this cup to get the pokies down or to knock the pokies down. So if you go ahead and do it at this step, it saves you a whole lot of work and headache later on. So as it spins, just take a piece of wax paper and very gently tap that glitter down, just pat it down. And notice that I'm avoiding the top portion of the cup for the most part. I'm not getting up there in the black area. If there's one little piece that needs to be patted down, then I just barely, very, very gently pat it down. But I stay away from that black area because it doesn't have glitter on it. So I want to leave that portion as untouched as possible so that the epoxy just looks nice and smooth right in there. I also want to mention that all the products that I use in my tutorials, I have linked down in the description box below so it's a little bit easier to find them. Most of the stuff that I use, I get on Amazon. So if you're looking to find it, you can just check it out below. And look how pretty this is. It's really hard to see in the video because of the lighting and everything, but that color shift on this is amazing. So I got a little excited because I was working on multiple tumblers at one time and I messed up and I put 
a coat of epoxy over the glitter already. And so this, what you're seeing here, already has one coat of epoxy over the glitter. So I am going to go ahead and apply a second coat of epoxy over the glitter. I've got my glove on because you don't want to ever handle your epoxy barehanded. And I'm just going to get a really good solid coat of epoxy on this wine glass here. And for this layer of epoxy, I have got 15 milliliters of epoxy mixed up. And I usually let my epoxy dry for about six to eight hours between coats of epoxy. I like to use Tumblr Poxy Epoxy and Swift Poxy. Tumblr Poxy is a absolutely stunning epoxy. It's, it's very clear, it's got a glass-like finish, and it is my favorite epoxy. I actually sell the 16 ounce kits of Tumblr Poxy Epoxy on my website. So if you want to give it a try, I sell the small kits. It's a really good starter kit to try it out before you go and purchase a big kit. Now Swift Poxy, Swift Poxy is a much faster drying epoxy than Tumblr Poxy is. So if you're in a little bit of a hurry, then you can go with Tumblr or with Swift Poxy. If I'm working on multiple cups at one time, and I need to mix up a bigger batch, I always use Tumblr Poxy because if you mix up a big, a big batch of Swift, Swift Poxy, then it dries really quickly on you and it hardens up and it makes it really hard to work with. So it just, it kind of depends on what product project you are working on as to which epoxy you should use or, you know, or that I use. So I have got my two coats of epoxy on this tumbler now and I am going to go ahead and sand it. There's really no need for a whole lot of sanding. The only part I'm really gonna sand is, for the most part, down around the bottom rim, and I've got my 220 grit sticky back sandpaper. Uh, as I mentioned before, I get all of my, most of my stuff on Amazon, and I did get this sandpaper from Amazon. It's the only sandpaper that I use. It is awesome, and you can see it sticks nicely to my fingers, so I have lots of control with it. So I'm just going around and I'm lightly sanding the bottom edge of the cup here. I wanna make sure that it's nice and smooth and then also right there where the, where the wine tumbler kind of like bends as it goes up towards the top of the cup, I'm sanding that part as well because you don't want any lumps and bumps. You want the cup to be really nice and smooth whenever your customer holds the cup. So uh, I focused on those main areas and now I'm just gonna do a really quick sanding over the whole cup just to make sure I don't have any little pokies sticking up. But I was mentioning this earlier and then I got sidetracked. So if you wanted to, if you want to give the 16 ounce tumbler epoxy, if you want to give tumbler epoxy a try, you can find it on my website, the 16 ounce kits. Like I said, it's a really good starter kit size to just give it a try before you buy a big batch of it. So I took my cup and I took it to the sink and I washed it with Dawn dish soap and I fully dried it. So I'm going to put it back on my football PVC arm here and get it ready for its final coat of epoxy. So as I mentioned before, my aunt wanted this tumbler here done and she does not want any saying on it. She just wants it just glitter, wants it nice and pretty, doesn't want anything obscuring the glitter or taking away from the beautiful prettiness of the glitter. I don't even know if prettiness is a word. Doesn't want it taking away from the glitter. So we're doing just glitter here. No sayings or anything like that. So for this last coat of epoxy, I have got another 15 milliliters of tumbler epoxy epoxy mixed up and I'm just going to smooth it over the whole cup as you have seen me do over and over again now and I'm just going to get really good coverage over the entire tumbler here. Now that I have got good coverage over my entire tumbler, I'm going to take my one finger and I'm gonna start at the bottom and push up the cup, smoothing out the epoxy as the tumbler spins, just working my way all the way around the cup. Now I'm going to go in with my blowtorch and make a quick pass over the entire tumbler. And I've seen the question a lot, well, why do you use a blowtorch versus a heat gun? 
I have found that a blowtorch pops micro bubbles so much better than a heat gun does. I used to use a heat gun and I had issues with fish eyes, I had issues with uh, micro bubbles and the heat gun, I have, I mean the blowtorch, I have no problems at all when I use a blowtorch. Look how pretty this is y'all, that color shifting glitter Esmeralda. And as I mentioned before, you can get Esmeralda on my website, kccglitter.com. I'll have it linked down in the description box below, along with multiple other beautiful colors and other color shifting glitters and pigments as well. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to see more videos like it. And as always, I hope y'all have a wonderful and great day. Y'all take care. Bye.